Good Monday morning, Utah. Time is currently 611 here on this Monday morning. We'll begin with your weather headlines, which include the ongoing flood concerns. Unsettled weather will continue in northern Utah while things this morning are relatively calm. We'll see mainly seasonal conditions down south, and then we could bring back the chance for some more showers and thunderstorms for the middle of the week. So the roller coaster that is Utah weather that does continue. But we will go ahead and start off with our ongoing flood concerns. We have four active river flood warnings where we have the South Fork of the Ogden River, the Bear River in Box Elder County, the Severe River near Hatch, the Dolores River, in Grand County, while the watches encompass the lower Weber River at Plain City and the Little Bear River below Hiram Dam. So if you're near any of these waterways, we're expecting generally minor flooding. But for the Dolores River in Grand County, moderate flooding is expected there. So we're still keeping a very close eye on all of our waterways and we'll continue to keep you posted on air online through social media as we continue to go throughout this runoff season. But thankfully, with a little bit cooler temperatures that have moved in, we've seen that issue mitigate a little bit, but again, as we see with those flood warnings, that's not the case everywhere. In the meantime, if you're getting ready to head off to work or school on this early Monday morning, an absolutely beautiful sunrise underway down in Iron County. This is the view from the Cedar City Airport on this early Monday. Then as we make our way up into northern Utah, how about this view from Deer Valley looking off to the east? That's a beautiful sunrise glow to say the least. Got partly cloudy skies as we look off towards the Uintas. But as we look down on Deer Valley, there is still plenty of snow up in the mountains. Now this morning, temperatures range quite a bit, anywhere from the 30s to the 50s. So depending on where you are, you're either going to want a sweater or you're going to want a jacket. You probably want a jacket if you're waking up in Logan or Park City. We're sitting at 48 degrees in Salt Lake City, so maybe a light jacket will do. Well, if, if you're in St. George sitting at 51 degrees, I would classify that as sweater weather, to say the least. Now, as we go from this morning into the afternoon after our calm start, we'll start to see some changes in our weather. We have a couple of systems on the way. The one that you see in the California coastline, that's going to impact our weather for today to bring us the chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms, predominantly in northern Utah. We'll get a little bit calm conditions going into our Tuesday, but then that system that you see behind that main low pressure will be arriving on Wednesday, which could bring more wet weather potential to the Beehive State. Now, outlining that thunderstorm risk for today, mainly north of the I-70 corridor. Now, if we were to see a few showers and thunderstorms, we could see them stretch as far south as I-70. But if you're south of I-70 today, looking to stay mostly dry, not expecting any severe weather as this is just a general thunderstorm outlook, but a few strong thunderstorms can't be completely ruled out. So let's go ahead and walk you through the future cast and begin this at noon today, where as we go from the morning into the early stretches of the afternoon, we'll start to see just a few showers begin to pop up, but things will ramp up once we get into the middle of the afternoon. So if you're in northern Utah, the best chance of a shower or thunderstorm finding you mainly going to be during the heart of the afternoon into the early stretches of this evening, and you can see by 6 o'clock this evening, going to have that chance for showers and thunderstorms even along the Wasatch Front. We're going to hold on to that chance through around 9, 10 o'clock this evening. As we go into the overnight hours, though, we'll start to lose that chance for the showers and thunderstorms looking mostly calm as we go through the overnight hours, looking to be mostly dry. Then looking at mostly dry conditions for our Tuesday with maybe a few spotty showers up in the high country with that best chance really being in southwestern Wyoming. Then going into our Wednesday, that's when that next system will start to approach from the west, and the chance for showers and thunderstorms will begin to pick back up. Now for today, your out the door forecast for the Wasatch Front after our cool start. We'll be looking at some breezy conditions, looking to stay mostly dry through around your lunch hour, but then we'll have that chance for those scattered showers and thunderstorms from this afternoon into this evening as those daytime highs will get close to where they should be for most across the board this afternoon with most seeing 60s and 70s in northern Utah as we zoom things in here. Daytime highs along the Wasatch Front mainly in the low 70s while well, we'll top out at 58 in Park City, 67 degrees in Heber. Then as we go down to central Utah, daytime high of 68 in Emory, 77 in Green River 71 in Richfield, then down in southern Utah, a high of 77 in Lake Powell, 78 in Hanksville, 71 in Blanding, and we'll see a daytime high of 69 degrees in Beaver under mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies as you make your way down into southern Utah. As for St. George, daytime highs the next couple of days will be in the low to mid 80s, and that's very close to where we should be for this time of year. With that system on Wednesday, we'll see the temperature come down slightly in St. George, but looking to stay mostly dry across lower Washington County. But we could see a few showers and storms as far south as Iron County, but then we'll warm things right back up. Should be around 90 degrees by this upcoming weekend with a slight chance on Sunday. Then along the Wasatch Front, scattered showers and thunderstorms for today. Low to mid 70s along the Wasatch Front, low 70s for our Tuesday. Look mostly dry, then bringing in that chance for showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday, maybe a lingering chance on Thursday, then dry Friday into Saturday's daytime highs eventually climb to near 80 degrees by the end of this upcoming weekend. But let's